I have great news for you, 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 and you. Guess what? Do you need money? First of all, do you need money? If your answer to this question is yes, then keep on watching this video all the way till the end. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how you can apply for a $5,000 grant. And guess what? This grant is powered by Walmart. Walmart is giving out $5,000 grant. If this is something you're interested in, don't even sleep on it. Keep on watching this video all the way till the end. If you're new to this channel, by all means, go ahead and introduce yourselves in the comments. I'd like to know you. I'd like to meet you. Where in the world are you watching from? And if you're a returning subscriber, you guys, Kilo Shele Gongono, thank you for your love and your support. I see every single one of you. I do this every single time because of you guys. You guys inspire and motivate me to keep going, even when I'm tired. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to all of my Patreon members, Kilo Shele Gongon, thank you so much for your love and your incredible support. I see you and I appreciate every single one of you from the depth of my heart. If you want to be part of my Patreon community, find the link in the description as well as in the comments. You're invited to join my Patreon community. Part of the purpose of joining my Patreon community is that you get a free one-on-one -on -one consultation when you are, as long as you're a patron of this channel, yes, um, you get a free one-on-one -on -one consultation. We can discuss all things money, grants, business, everything in between, scholarships, everything in between. And yes, just so you know, I also share a lot of grants with my Patreon communities. Grants that don't even make it to my channel. Those grants don't make it here, yes. So it's exclusive to my Patreon members. Yes, so without further that I do let me also introduce myself while you guys introduce yourselves my first timers if you're new here and you have not introduced yourself my god is watching you oh yeah introduce yourself if you're new here if you've seen this gorgeous hyper queen for the very first time let me introduce myself as well so my name is Miriam I'm your friend your host your girl eh? your bestie your grand queen on this channel I share grants information I'm a wife a mom student and an entrepreneur and I'm based here in California I do all your research for you all your grants research how to make money online and what have you so without further ado guys come with me let's go let's talk about how to win this five thousand dollars grants come with me let's go so guys um Walmart has commenced their regional and national grant giving of five thousand dollars and just so you know it is an ongoing grant now their local community grant awards are now open and the application is done through their website yes and they provide funding directly from Walmart and Sam's Club and um, facilities to local organizations within United States um, if you don't know how to determine your local facility don't worry the application will help you it will assist you you know to, it will guide you as to how to locate your local community grant yes now they range between $250 to $5,000 eligible nonprofit organizations must operate on the local level or be an affiliate of a chapter or a larger organization that operates locally and directly benefits the service area of the facility from which they are requesting meaning they must benefit directly I mean the Walmart the closest Walmart you must directly benefit from your organization yes the outreach now the grant applications for for the for this year's calendar year is accepted on a quarterly basis you can apply in January February March if you don't get it you can apply in you know April, May, June, like that. So it's available all year round. And just so you know, applications may be submitted anytime in each funding cycle because when you apply in a cycle, it's going to be reviewed. The application will be reviewed in the next funding cycle. Like I said, it's available on an ongoing basis. So this video never expires. If, you, if you're just seeing this video now, don't worry. It's still ongoing. You can always apply. Organizations may only submit a total of 25 applications and receive up to 25 grants. Yes. So you can get 5,000 times 25 times yes you can't get more than five times five thousand times 25 times yes do the calculation there so guys all organizations applying for a local community grants uh, must be cyber grants front door verified yes before you apply yes and here is the eligibility checklist if you're applying for these grants please note that your organization must hold a current tax exempt status as a public charity under section 501c3 in the internal revenue code listed on the irs master file and conducting activities within the united states and cyber grants front door verified and you must be a recognized government entity state county or city agency including law enforcement or fire departments that are requesting funds for for public purposes only and you must also be cyber grants front door verified you can also be a k-12 non-profit private school charter school community college junior college state or private college or university or a church or a faith-based organization with a proposed projects that benefits the community at large like food pantries soup kitchens clothing closets and cyber grants front door verified please note um, non charities including organizations recognized as 501 C4s, C6s and 619 like homeowners associations, civic leagues or volunteer fire companies are not eligible at this time. They are 
are eight areas of funding that people, that organizations can apply for. They have listed everything on their websites and make sure that your organizations, um, your organization's goals fall within the categories of the areas that they support. The first one is community and economic development. Yes. So improving local communities for the benefit of low-income individuals and families in the local service area. They also invest in diversity and inclusion. Yes. As long as they are fostering the building of relationships and understanding among diverse groups in the local service area and education. Yes. Are you providing after-school education, uh, tutoring students or vocational training for low-income individuals and families in the local service area? Environmental sustainability. Now, are you preventing waste, increasing recycling or supporting um, other programs that work to improve the environment in the local service area? They also support health. Yes. Health and human service. Are you providing medical screening treatment, um, social services or shelters for low-income individuals and families in the local service area as well as hunger relief? Yes. Are you providing healthy eating or are you providing um, federal or charitable meals or snacks for low-income earners and families in the local service area? Are you also in, into public safety? Are you supporting public safety programs, true training programs, equipment in the local service area as well as quality of life? Are you helping to improve the quality of life through access to recreation, um, arts, cultural experiences for low-income individuals and families in the local service area? When it comes to the selection process, uh, the management of the facility in which you're applying to will review the application and make in initial funding recommendations on all submitted requests. Now, each facility manager may set the frequency and process in which the, uh, the application determinations are made. Now, the facility manager and the grant administrator actually reserve the rights to adjust the amounts awarded to each organization even without prior notice. Organizations will be notified of, of your decision through email and all funding decisions are final. If your organization is approved for funding, um, the checks will be mailed directly to your address that you listed in the Cyber Grant Front Door Yes organization. So, so please allow between four to six weeks for feedback. So when you apply now, um, expect a response within four to six weeks and um, you will find out if you have been awarded the grants or not. So, so when you receive your grants, um, your organizations should contact the local facility from which the fund are awarded um, for them to schedule a formal recognition event if necessary if, or if desired and all grant applications are made subject to review of the organization's reputation and activities and its agreements to comply with the applicable terms and conditions now submission of an application does not guarantee funding so funding exclusions actually include organizations that you know, discriminate on the basis of sex religion um, color and stuff like that you know sexual orientation your identity gender identity national origin ancestry pre citizenship veteran you know um, as long as they believe that if they partner with regional and national organizations they can make a bigger and lasting impact in the world for years to come and that is it for today's video go ahead head over to the link in my description when you get on the, to the website just click here to apply for the i mean apply for the grants when you do that you input the name of your, your organization how much you need the funds for what you need the funds for how much you need and what you need the funds for you know so that they can you know um put it into consideration if it's something that aligns with your values as i've mentioned earlier then you are likely going to get the grants and when you, when they give it when they issue these grants to you the local walmart will disburse the funds to you and if there's any recognition events they will let you know as well if it's desired they will let you know and that will give you free publicity of course yeah so that takes us to the end of today's video thank you all so much for watching all the way to the very end i am your girl miriam if you have any questions for me let me know in the comments if you want to be part of my patreon community find the link in the description as well as in the comments like i said if you join my patreon community you can book a free consultation with me we can discuss all things grants money business scholarships and everything in between and that's a wrap for today's video thank you thank you thank you for watching up till this point make sure that you turn on the description bell because i'm going to share a lot of grants on my channel yes and make sure that you check out my previous videos and apply for all those grants so don't even sleep on it so guys i'll see you in my next video in case no one has told you today let me be the first to tell you that you are amazing and i'm super duper proud of you all right guys you keep yourself and google do exploits and i'll see you in my next video bye for now